In 2019, nearly 77% of Spokane City voters passed Proposition 1. The measure amended the city's charter to declare all negotiations between the city and various unions for its employees must be public. I think that the, the public, frankly, is starved for transparency. The foremost promoter of the measure, Michael Cathcart, who was elected to city council in the same election. He says his expectation was that the proposition would apply to the police guild. In fact, that was part of the messaging uh, that was used to uh, promote the, the measure. But the city had a different interpretation. This has been an ongoing uh, uh, negotiation for three plus years now, and the terms for negotiation are set at the out outset of negotiation. Uh, so to come back in the middle of the, um, the process is uh, something that both terms, both sides have to agree to do, and it wasn't something that was possible in this case. I reject that argument completely. The, the charter measure, or the, the charter amendment specifically did not delineate between ongoing negotiations or new negotiations. There was no reference to that at all. Cathcart says he can accept some gray area in another argument, that the actual negotiation phase was already over and technically the contract was in the mediation phase. But as it stands, the contract is near finalized and will be voted on by the city council on Monday. And it's become a flashpoint for a broader debate about police violence, with many local protesters honing in on the contract as a symbol of insufficient accountability. Had these negotiations been public, uh, I, I really think that there would be um, uh, less concern over this contract at this point in time. What do you think the public might have lost from this particular negotiation not being public? I think had they been public from day one, um, I, I think the, the community support uh, uh, for the independent oversight would, would have been uh, strong enough that I think these negotiations would have wrapped up sooner. If the council rejects the contract, though, there's a chance it would go to arbitration rather than be completely rewritten. And regardless, because it's so overdue, it'll expire at the end of the year and new negotiations will have to start up again very soon. Both the administration and the council expect those discussions would be public. I believe that there is a lot of support in this community to ensure that the next round of negotiations, regardless of this contract, are fully transparent to the public and that everybody gets to know what is being discussed and how it's being discussed. The Police Guild did not respond to a request for comment today. In Spokane, Casey Decker, Krem 2 News.